Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up in our report, some cool ideas. How Frankfurt aims to beat the heat with smart urban planning. If we take the roofs of the houses now and also make them green, then we can gain tremendous green space and cooling for the city. But first, the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Globally, we can say that June 2020 was the joint warmest on record, with temperatures 0.5 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2010 average. Now, if we have a look at the map of the surface air temperature anomaly, you can see that in parts of Africa, many parts of the Americas, it was warmer than average. In southern Europe, it was cooler than average. And then in Scandinavia and Central Europe, it was warmer last month. But the big story was in Siberia, where the year so far has been much warmer than average. We can see on this vast region that some areas were cooler last month, but Arctic Siberia had a sustained heat wave with a report temperature of 38 degrees in the Arctic city of Verkhoyansk. Now, there are many factors coming into play there. Let's have a listen to Martin Stendel from the Danish Meteorological Institute. We went already into spring warmer than normal, and we have for several weeks in a row now had a blocking high-pressure system in the area of northern Siberia. And in June and July, of course, we have midnight sun, so the sun can shine down under this high-pressure um, more or less around the clock, and this has led to very warm temperatures. Now, the topic of heat waves takes us to our report as we wanted to know how cities in Europe are adapting to rising global temperatures. Our reporter, Dennis Loctier, went to Frankfurt, one of the warmest cities in Germany, to see how they manage the heat. This stretch of green land is one of Frankfurt's ventilation corridors. Areas deliberately kept clear of high buildings to allow much cooler air from the countryside to flow downtown. In a city where temperatures hit a new record of over 40 degrees last year, it's part of a deliberate effort to adapt to climate change. Of course, we first have to look at the whole city and connect the cold and fresh air areas with the city, with such ventilation corridors as we see here. Then there should be small green islands in the city, parks, trees, avenues. And very specific measures, such as we want to ensure free access to drinking water with drinking fountains that we put up in the city. The green islands of Frankfurt are literally growing. The city now obliges some new buildings to have a green roof or facade and subsidizes green roofs on private property. Plants cool the environment as evapotranspiration from their leaves takes heat out of the air. Green roofs have numerous positive effects. They protect a building, they insulate and they cool it. They also save costs. Noise is swallowed, fine dust is filtered by the plants and heavy rainfall effects are cushioned by the fact that rain can be absorbed by the substrate. In addition, every inhabitant of the building gains a new habitat, as do insects and birds. Water management is another focus area. Downtown, this means more porous surfaces to allow evaporation to cool the streets. On the edge of town, it means creating waterways to collect rainwater. Each change is small, but the average temperature is rising every decade, and they want to keep the city comfortable and livable. If we do nothing now, the consequences are of course clear. For risk groups, this can have serious consequences, including premature death from heat. But also people who are still young and fit and who may not belong to the risk groups, they will also suffer. And generally speaking, cities will completely lose quality of life if no action is taken. You can see some fascinating satellite images of Frankfurt, read more about the Siberian heatwave and see all the data presented in this programme on our website, euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.